Sizzle AI is a large language model that provides step-by-step -step breakdowns of all answers it gives you. Let's say for example I ask, what's the distance between the earth and the sun? It's going to tell me the first step is to define the average distance from the earth to the sun, which is a fundamental constant in astronomy. Now, I don't know anything about astronomy, but let's see what it gives us. So we've got give me choices or reveal steps. So if I click give me choices, okay, I've got some answers I can select. Now, I don't know the actual answer to this, so I'm just going to go back and I'm going to say reveal step. Okay, now it's saying the second step is to convert the distance to a more precise unit such as astronomical units, which is a standard unit of measurement for distances within our solar system. I'm gonna click, give me choices and let's see, I'm just gonna pick one at random. Let's go with this. Okay, cool, it said I was correct. Okay, I actually have done this before and I knew that was the right one. And it's saying the third step is to express the distance in AU. I'm just gonna click reveal steps. And it's saying the average distance from the earth to the sun is approximately 1 AU, which we can see here in an earlier step is 149.6 million kilometers. And then you can also share this solution. Let's say I have another question like, let's say, I don't know, let's do something mathematical like what are the use cases of the quadratic formula? Okay, identify the general form of a quadratic equation. Let's click give me choices, I think. Let's go with this, correct, okay. Determine the types of problems that can be solved using the quadratic formula, let's click reveal step. So it's something else that can be used to solve quadratic equations that can't be factored easily. Okay, cool, equations with complex roots. Okay, interesting, identify the real world applications, reveal step, physics, engineering, economics, computer science, projectile motion, optimization problems, and signal processing. Okay, cool. Provide examples of specific problems. Okay, cool. Finding the root of a quadratic equation, solving quadratic inequalities. Okay, interesting. Identify the limitations. It can only be used to solve quadratic equations, not like equations to, I guess, a higher polynomial, they're saying. Okay, cool. Determine alternative methods. Click reveal as well. Okay, sweet, cool. So as you can see, it's literally broken down everything. Now, I think this is a game changer for anyone who's studying something. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a, a very useful tool. Now let's ask it something that's not so academic. Like, let's say, why do they drive on the left in the UK? Okay, it's saying this problem may lack the context such as diagrams or figures for sizzle to solve effectively. Let's go ahead anyway. Research the historical reasons for UK's traffic convention. Okay, cool. Dates back to the Middle Ages when most people were right-handed and knights on horseback would ride on the left side to keep their right arm, which held the sword, free to defend against oncoming traffic. That's wild, I never knew that. Investigate how this convention was influenced by UK's transportation history. Okay, let's go to choices. I'm just gonna pick a random choice. Um, Okay, cool, I don't think that was it. No, that wasn't it. No, that wasn't it either. Okay, cool, so it was that one. Okay, cool, so I gave you a few answers um, and it told me why I was wrong. Think about how the seating positions of drivers in early vehicles like stagecoaches influenced the side of the road they drove on. Interesting, okay, cool. So I finally got the right answer. Oh, I got the right answer the third time. Okay, interesting stuff. And then this opened up. So once you get the right answer from the choices, it opens up the next step in the thought process. I'll just click reveal step for the rest of these. Okay, cool. The UK's colonial history played a significant role in the spread of left-hand traffic to many countries, such as British colonies. Okay, cool. Summarize the main reasons for the UK's traffic convention. Okay, cool. Well, that's quite interesting and that was quite a thorough explanation. I had no idea it was to do with knights being able to defend themselves. So yeah, I definitely say give this platform a try. And if you want to know how to get further ahead with AI, then make sure you like, subscribe and share this video and consider joining my school community where I drop the latest developments that I discover in the space. Take care. Have a good day.